This screencast is going to show you how to go from a markdown formatted document to an HTML5 presentation using the open source reveal.js uh, presentation library. So at first I'm going to show you a document that I've been working on in markdown. You can see the text that I've written over here and how I've basically formatted uh, my title has one hashtag for uh, to show that it's a header one and then all of the um, slide titles are header twos and then I have some paragraph text and some lists underneath this is how it formats uh, in the in an HTML preview and so for me writing in markdown is a really quick way to just get my ideas out uh, you know write write really quickly and then still be able to format it in a way so that the document itself has some sense of internal order. And once I've got it in this form, I can actually um, drop it into a reveal presentation really quickly. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So if you do a search for reveal.js, the first page that you'll see in your Google results is a demo of the presentation and you can kind of see what that looks like. The second page that you'll see is the GitHub repository for the reveal.js code. So you can see if you come to uh, the demo, this is what it looks like and um, it kind of shows you a little bit about the features and capabilities of reveal.js. It sort of shows you a lot of the cool stuff you can do with it and why it's good to use Markdown or excuse me, why it's good to use an HTML5 presentation. And you can do things like tra change the transition style. You can make it zoom instead. Uh, do different things. You can change the uh, the theme if you want to. So there's a lot of capabilities and it sort of shows you how to do cool stuff like change the transit, the backgrounds, um, you know, add code into it, all these different things. So that's the demo. And the second link is the GitHub. So you can come here and if code scares you, that's okay. Um, you can work with reveal.js with only a very basic understanding of HTML. Um, so what I do is I go and press the download zip button and this will download all of this code in zip format to probably your downloads folder in your computer and when you unzip it you'll have a folder like this called reveal presentations and if you open it up it's got a lot of what you'd expect to see inside of an HTML web page. It's got an HTML document called index.html. It's got some CSS, JavaScript, a lot of other stuff that you can choose to ignore if you like, or you can choose to dig into when you're ready. Uh, but what we really want to work with is index.html. So at first, Let's open it with our web browser. I'm using Chrome. And you'll see it's an exact replica of the demo presentation that we just saw. Okay? And then what we can do is we can open it with our favorite text editor. Okay? So we're that same file, index.html. And uh, my favorite is called Coda. Uh, if you don't have a favorite text editor of choice, I'd recommend Adobe Brackets because it's free. I've actually paid for Coda and it's got a feature that really works for me that I'll show you in a moment. And this is the presentation. So you can see it starts as HTML. It's got a head section with a lot of stuff you can ignore except for maybe the title, you might want to change this. Change the title to My Awesome Presentation. And then down in the body section, 
you'll see it has a div. So everything within the di this div is slides. You, uh, and yeah, within this, everything is slides. So each individual slide is demarcated within the section tag. So it has a section opening tag, a little bit of HTML, and then a closing tag where the slide ends. And each slide goes from the opening section tag to the closing one. Now, what we're going to do is basically go back to our markdown document. We're going to copy the HTML, which is going to output uh, HTML from this presentation. So I have that copied to my clipboard. Now what we're going to do is take all these sections of example content that they have so we can see how Reveal works. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom, most of the way to the bottom, down to where these section ends. And we're going to delete that so that we have the div class slides here. And in the middle of it, we're going to paste the output HTML from our markdown editor. Now, that, that formats everything in HTML beautifully. Now all we need to do is tell the document where our slides begin and end. So each text editor does this a different way. Um, Coda is the one I use. And I like it because it's got a quick keyword where I can just say, and you see what that did? It put an opening tag for section and a closing tag for section around the content. So this actually designates it as one slide. And I can just do that for each little chunk of content. Um, you may need to get to know your text editor of choice well. Um, they, they each do this a little different way. But this is how mine does it. I've even learned the trick that I can like copy this, the word section, so that when I do this, I just do the keystroke for a new tag and then paste in section so it knows it's a section. It's beautiful. Okay. And uh, I was even flirting, flirting around yesterday with a way, like a little code that I could put into my markdown that I could just do a find and replace, uh, but it was not as graceful as I would like. But here I am, now I'm done. Um, so each one of my slides is actually wrapped within those section tags, and I'm just going to save this. And now I'm going to look at it. So now my awesome presentation is here. And all of my slides exist and look great. And I think I may still be done faster than if I did this in PowerPoint. So that is how you go from Markdown to Reveal.js.